People in colonial America had to work hard to make a living. Without the labor-saving machines we enjoy today, they had to meet many of their needs for food, clothing, and shelter through their own effort. All family members worked together to carry out this work. Many times, an extended family would live together in one house on one plot of land. Parents, children, aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents all contributed to daily chores. At home, men and women worked hard, but their responsibilities were usually different. Women took care of the house and the land immediately around it. Cooking and cleaning were time-consuming tasks, and they had to do all that work by hand. Along with handling these household chores, farm wives often helped their husbands. At busy times, like planting and harvesting, they helped in the fields. Men headed their households, and they spent most of their time working. They took responsibility for running the farms and did the planting, plowing, and gathering of crops. They also built their homes and hunted animals for food. Children helped at home too. Young children had tasks like gathering wood and water. Older girls helped their mothers with the household work. Older boys helped their fathers in the fields. Colonial America had three social groups or classes. Most people belonged to the middle class. They owned farms or businesses. The small upper class or gentry included wealthy farmers, government officials, and lawyers. At the bottom were indentured servants and enslaved Africans. Indentured servants received passage to America on a ship. In return, they agreed to work for a specific period of time for the person who paid for their passage. Once that period was finished, they received land, tools, and other supplies to help them start their own farms. Colonists were able to govern themselves. In 1619, the leaders of Virginia gave free white males the right to vote for representatives they called Burgesses. This was the first representative assembly in the colonies. Other colonies created similar governing bodies. But Britain also passed laws that affected the colonies. Britain would gain financially if the colonies were successful. To ensure this success, Britain passed trade laws that taxed all goods imported to or exported from the colonies. Colonists were part of a triangular trade network. Shippers carried goods from Europe to West Africa, where they were traded for slaves. They took the slaves to the Americas. The people were traded for sugar and other goods. These were carried back to Europe. Most people who bought Africans owned plantations. The Africans tended the crops grown on these large farms and did other work in the plantation house and the fields. Considered property, the Africans had no freedoms, but this did not keep them from developing their own culture. African traditions influenced language, cooking, and music. Life in the colonies could be harsh. Farmers faced bad weather, drought, disease, and the fear of the unknown. But the brave people who first settled in North America would soon create a new nation.